when people have the great zeal for the word of god they are empowered with the power of the lord when they have the great zeal for the word of god yes it is the word of god we read in psalm 119 verse 139 it is written lord my your enemies have forgotten your word lord so they all perished and my heart is hungering for your word he said yes when you hold on hungering for the word of god the word of god brings the holy spirit into your life the word of god brings anointing into your life because our mind is own mind whatever you put on this mind it will sprout if you put the thought of a lust it will sprout if you put the thought of anger it will sprout if you put the anger of the past mistake of somebody it will become whatever you put on your mind your mind is like a field whatever seed thought is like a seed whatever seed we put it will sprout so when we put constantly the word of god as john chapter 6 verse 63 says my word will give you my life and my spirit so the more and more we invest time for the word of god bring word of god into our mind the thought of god into our mind the thinking of god into our mind our mind gets vibrated with the power of god with the zeal of god with the fire of god so it is the word that brings yes that's why you say the word is said it's like a consumes like a fire the word of god that's why when two of the disciples we read in luke's gospel chapter 24 when when they were broken when they were disturbed and when they remember their disturbance oh we thought jesus will become a great man great king and then all, our lives will be great they thought now jesus is dead so the bible says they went back to their village enough we wasted our time calling jesus 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 now he is dead it's a waste so let's go back but jesus came back and walked with them verse 17 says jesus asked them what it is you are talking about the two stood looking sad what they were talking made them sad what they were talking what you talk what kind of thoughts that is capturing you what kind of thought you are talking through your mouth that will make you what you are they were talking and what they were talking that made them sad that they could not walk anymore they could not walk anymore they stood still the bible says yes we read in the book of proverbs chapter 17 verse 22 says that your sadness will even dry up your bones when you allow sadness sad thoughts depressing thoughts to enter into you you can't even walk anymore it will make you sad and it will stop your walking yeah that's why here also say they stood still they could not walk anymore and they were looking sad so the thought you put on your mind making you weak you can't walk you you it makes you sad your face becomes weak and what did the lord do to bring them back into life the technique jesus used he started to speak to them he explained to them everything in the scripture concerning himself so for a person who is broken who is wounded who can't walk we may call it paralyzed what is the secret to bring them back to life the technique jesus used to us the word of god when he explained to them the word the word builds up zeal for god when you hold on to the word of god the word of god by its nature has the power to bring fire upon you to bring upon to destroy 
the thoughts of depression and to empower you the word of god has the power to build up the seal for god and at the end of the day when jesus revealed to them they said to one another were not a hearts burning within us when he was talking to us on the road explaining explaining the scripture when scripture was explaining what happened when scripture was explained by jesus our hearts were burning like a fire the sadness is moved away automatically it is just disappeared courage and encouragement empowerment my god is with me he is alive yes the word has the power that's why jesus said jesus said my word gives you my life and my spirit yes that's why psalm 119 the whole psalm tells us about the word of god lord your word is the light for my path it is a guide for my steps psalm 119 verse 105 yes that's why it is written david ran to the temple of the lord seven times in a day to read the word of god seven times as we are feeding our stomach with three times food and morning 10 o'clock coffee evening 4 o'clock tea five times we go to refectory david says seven times in a day he was the king such a busy man but he knew if he doesn't take care of his thoughts his thoughts will be taken care by the enemy if i don't fill my mind with the thought of the lord with the presence of the lord the enemy will attack my mind because second corinthian chapter 4 verse 4 says god of this age wants to destroy mankind how does he destroy by destroying the mind the thoughts of man so the battle ground of satan is the human mind so when you don't fill your mind with the word of god with the presence of god satan fills our mind with the world with the worldly lust with the worldly programs with all that good for nothing thoughts good for nothing talk languages when i went to once to tutukurin a servant of god called me to father matthew and i kaparambu one great man a priest he told me father i am going to tutukurin i don't know tamil will you come to translate i said okay father so we went a nice big room was given to father father said you also come and be with me and we will pray at night i said okay so two cots were there and suddenly after some time i became tired i went to sleep and then 3 o'clock i heard some noise ra 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 i said what happened not able to sleep i opened my eyes and i saw he is sleeping but he is going on repeating the word of god i can do everything through christ who strengthens me i can do everything through christ who strengthens me his whole body is he is sleeping but his mouth is saying the word of god and really something is like a current goes goes like a if you put the air what will happen to the balloon like that he was yes when you take the word of god the word of god empowers you it is like a energy that's why jesus was always giving the word of god when satan came to attack jesus he clinged on to the word of god he quoted from the book of deuteronomy chapter 18 and all the three quotations he gave from deuteronomy man cannot live by bread alone it is written it is written it is written the only way to destroy the enemy jesus used the technique was he quoted the word of god he said it is written it is written it is written yes it is through the word on the one hand you are empowered with the zeal for god on the other hand you destroy the works of evil so that's why we need to create the hunger for word of god love for word of god yes jesus said in matthew 
24 verse 35 the earth and the heaven will pass away but not the word that i have spoken to you not a single word that i have spoken to you that's why in psalm 39 verse 3 it is written lord when i reflected your word a kind of fire entered into me and i started to make petitions to the lord he says lord when i was repeating the word of god fire came to me and became i became a praying man an ordinary man became a man of prayer when the word of God was when he was filling himself with the word of God. That's why even if you have 10 minutes, continue to repeat the word of God. Whatever the word you have. That's why the Bible says Romans chapter 10 verse 8 onwards. The word of God should be always near you. The word of God should be always on, on your mind, reflecting on your heart. And then the word of God should be always on your lips. My dear friends, Sangam on Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.